October 26th and 27th, Tuesday and Wednesday. The sun is in Scorpio and the moon's in Cancer. Mm, secret sauce. It's so sweet. As soon as the energy changes into Scorpio, I feel it. And the moon's in Cancer. So many of us don't know how to deal with our emotional body. It's an incredibly emotional Tuesday and Wednesday. So when we get emotional, we all think something's wrong. What's wrong with being sad? What's wrong with wanting to be alone? Nothing's wrong with that. Kids are allowed to cry and they change their attitude in a second. Grown-ups cry and they get self-conscious. Sun is Scorpio, Moon, and Cancer. If a baby were born today, Tuesday or Wednesday, they would have the gift of compassion and tenderness and vulnerability. So why do we disregard vulnerability? If I tell you this is so crazy that October 26th on Tuesday is Hillary Clinton's birthday and she's a double Scorpio with moon in Pisces, she's all water, but we can't tell because what water people do is they put up a shield and they freeze their water and make it look hard because they're so embarrassed by how tender they are. I don't care what your politics are or what you think of her. She's definitely got the Scorpio drive and the compassion she had for women and for kids. It doesn't matter what we think. I'm just talking pure astrology. It's simple. When there's this much sensitivity in the air and you're feeling emotional on Tuesday and Wednesday, rather than making it wrong, and we learned in school, I'm making up a story, pretend we learned in school that kids were allowed to cry and being sad was acceptable and being vulnerable and needy was acceptable, that you could tell somebody, I'm not having a good day. I'm having depression come visit me again. Or I'm feeling anxious. And no one sh like looked away. They all stayed right with you. Because they knew they too experienced depression, anxiety, all those. But it becomes nonverbal when it's Scorpio and Cancer. We don't say a word. We all pretend we're OK. We put up a shield. We freeze our water, turn it to ice. I want to say Tuesday and Wednesday, in honor of astrology, if you've really been studying with me, you know that you have permission to say, I'm feeling really tender. And at best, it turns into secret sauce. It's delicious. It's children. It's pets. It's our cats. It's our dogs and who we love. We want to cuddle. We don't want to talk. Tuesday and Wednesday, astrology answers wanted me to tell you, it's a double water sky. We have permission to feel and to not feel self-conscious that our human nature knows how to cry. That's a beautiful thing. It's called salt water and it heals. I like talking about it. I have a mushy part that I feel self-conscious about, but I've gotten so much better over the years because I studied astrology and said it's okay to be tender and to let everybody else be tender too. What's making you sad? Tell me.